video talking about the coronavirus. Just read an article uh, stating that now it can be spread by airborne means. Uh, for those of you uh, who don't know much about it, I didn't know a lot about it, but uh, I read an article and um, it says that uh, initially they thought it was spread by droplets, which would be uh, if someone was just coughing or sneezing directly on you. But now, uh, like I said, it's uh, it's spread by airborne, you know, which means that uh, it's aerosol, pretty much just like fine, fine droplets, mist, you know, which can linger in the air for a long time. It can be spread like that, so it's obviously a lot more uh, infectious than what they were saying. I know the WHO was saying it wasn't a big deal, and uh, Canada was saying it wasn't a big deal because, say, on an airplane, like, it could only you know, reach people maybe uh, two meters away. But like that with an aerosol, I mean, you could probably infect almost everybody on the airplane in such a confined uh, area. Or think about it, if someone goes on to uh, an elevator and sneezes, you know, and then they put it on the surfaces and the air and then people all day are going in and out and up and down on that elevator, think about it. How many people could get infected? Pretty scary. Uh, obviously a lot more dangerous than they were initially uh, saying. I'm sure the numbers out of China are false. You know, if that's true that it's being spread uh, by air, airborne aerosol. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more than 40,000 people have been infected with it so far. You know, they're saying that um, the factories in China should be opening up again tomorrow and that they should be going back to work. I know myself, I tried to order some masks off of uh, AliExpress, Chinese uh, website similar to Amazon, and I tried it uh, a couple weeks ago, and it said to um, to wait wait for 19 days, and if, if the order hadn't been shipped, that uh, it would be canceled. And yesterday, it said it was about like 10 days left. And, uh, but today it got bumped back up to 19 days. So I think, uh, even though they're saying everybody's going back to work, I'm imagining that, uh, they're going more into a quarantine lockdown situation. You know, there's a lot of things that they say on the news, but the reality on the ground might be a lot different. You know, you have to think. If that keeps going on, how long will it be until there's shortages of uh, food, medicine? You know, the supply chain start breaking down. The di- and then the disease is going to start spreading in other areas. You know, I know uh, Africa, North Korea, Latin America. There's cases already, but they're not reporting it. You know, their uh, hey. healthcare system's very weak and. Uh, you know, a lot of these places, uh, they're relying on tourism, so uh, they don't want to like even state that there's video, any cases like at all. Undercover video. <laughs> so it seems to be, uh, yeah. you know, a really high likelihood that it's going to keep increasing. And then it's going to um, yeah. start increasing in uh, different si- Probably not, because I have to go look at that car and stuff. Different uh, cities. Five. Not only in Wuhan, but it's, you know, it, start increasing in Shanghai. Uh, yeah. Japan, probably Canada, you know, many different places. You know, and I'm showing you here some images of uh, the homeless population here in Vancouver. And, uh, uh, you know, I think it can really easily it? spread like, in uh, uh, conditions like this that are all along close to the, house? the west coast of America and Canada. A lot of homeless people, a lot of open drug use, yeah. crowded conditions. Think of all the condos like in, in Vancouver, well, people living but... in really close conditions. I know um, the house yeah. that I was living in before, there were 17 people living in there. Hold on a second. I'm gonna They're all sharing my, the same uh, bathroom, the same, my camera, in the same kitchen. You know, uh, I don't think we were meant to be living the way that we were living, like with people just traveling all around the world on uh, planes, cruises. If you think, you know, 100 years ago, a disease like this wouldn't really have much opportunity to spread beyond, like, a town or 
country at the moment. Or if it did, it would take years. It wouldn't just spread instantaneously like uh, how it's spreading now. You know, and it seems like there's a lot of things happening. Uh, I also noticed that uh, I read a few articles about locust plagues, I'm talking about you know the, the largest locust plague that in modern times is just forming right now in Africa. Truly, you know, a lot of things can come about right now. Uh, pandemics like this, the coronavirus, food shortages. You know, uh, some really, really tough and uh, difficult times are like coming up really soon. That's why I see. You know, and uh, those conditions, and you know, probably there's going to be more and more wars. You know, the worst things get people will want to steal from other countries or, you know, better their situation through, through war. We really lived in a time of uh, unprecedented peace from uh, the end of World War II until now. The way I see it, uh, it's really coming to a, an end very soon. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video.